What's up guys, Subzeric here, back for another VOD review. Today, we're doing another one of my own VODs that I played recently, not actually on stream. Uh, apologies for not too much streaming, but I've been on the climb recently, trying to make snapshot for this next cup, and I think I'm in a good spot to do it. 3.3 AVP, or my last 20, and you can see that graph is looking kind of nice uh yeah the the games have been going pretty well i feel like the patch is finally starting to click after so so long um though this game was a very very interesting game actually uh because i got to play a really really cool um setup uh a, a hero augment if you will that is not very uh you know not picked very often the stats on it look okay not amazing but uh but okay and uh, and we get what I would say is a good spot for it this game. So let's uh, let's jump into it. We start off with the Garen and the Sivir uh, potentially playing around some kind of uh, Story Weaver opener. Uh, and we have Sivir Pair here. So I say, okay, Sivir Pair Garen plus Gwinsu uh, could be a very, very straightforward game. We also have this potential um, Faded opener. So I think, okay, I'm going to hold on to the Faded opener as well. I'm basically holding like three openers. Well, more like two openers in one here. Um, and, you know, I'll just play whatever I end up getting. And I do get a second Garen here. Um, but yeah, it is uh, a storied champion game in this situation. I have two Garens already, and I say, you know, a two-star Garen on top of that is pretty good. Only downside is I don't have much to, to slam on the Garen right here immediately. Um, but I say, you know what, I'll just take it. I'll take Story Champion. The other thing that's really good about Story Champion here um, is that there's another player who's playing one cost tree roll. There's someone, uh, I believe it's Ramkev this game, has Lucky Paws. So Ramkev is going to be taking one cost out of the pool with his Lucky Paws. I'm going to be taking one cost out of the pool with my Story Champion. It makes it easier for both of us to hit. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good little uh, little trade-off for me. Um, I don't slam anything in the first fight because I'm I'm kind of like delving through the data. I'm going to be real with you guys. This is the first time I ever played this augment. It went pretty well. I'm pretty happy that I picked Green Kale here um, because you want Armor Shred and potentially a Marsh Shred depending on what your, your carry is, uh, your secondary carry is in this setup. But... It's kind of hard to build Armor Shred here, devoting like a, an entire bow and glove to Last Whisper. I opt to slam Gwinsu onto the Sivir here, and even in hindsight, I think it was fine. I, for part of the game, I was a little bit afraid, because if you look at the data, one of the best uh, items that you can build onto Story Champion Garen is Titan's Resolve. It makes sense. Um, he's casting, getting a bunch of HP. The RNMR from Titan's Resolve is really, really high value on him, so it makes sense. Um, you know, the annoying part is that you have to find that that bow for Garen, right? And I and I wanted to vote bow to be some kind of Sivir item here, and eventually, I'm not really sure where it's gonna go. Uh, it ends up in an interesting spot this game. You'll see. It's it's a fun little conclusion uh, that we get to here. But yeah, the the bow um the, the bow probably could be Titans. Um, maybe I'm supposed to just wait until Carousel. The Gwins was a nice slam though. That's the big thing. Saving HP is really nice in this comp because you're gonna be really strong in the early game, and then theoretically you fall off late game. So uh, I believe we have Cloak open here. Um, I wanted to go for BT because the stats say it's a fantastic Garen item, but we, but I don't get the chance to go for that. So I opted to just go Declaw here. Uh, Declaw, not only is it is it good when you know your unit scales its HP up and up and up, um, but also there's a lot of AP in this lobby. If uh, if you look at when I've been scouting around, there's the Lucky Paws person, there is a Faded person, there is a person who's playing uh, Vertical Umbral. Um, like the whole lobby is AP basically. So Declaw is actually going to be really, really nice in this lobby. That's something important to think about when you build something like a Declaw is, you know, how, what, what's the lobby composition for my, for, for the damage, uh, of, of everyone. Uh, and, and Declaw actually works fantastically here. So pretty happy with that. We actually win another fight here against Bertosaurus, who is scoreboard scrapping it away. Um, so it makes sense trying to play for a lost streak here. But yeah, I mean, at this, uh, at this moment, I'm just going to, uh, to play my strongest board here, try to win. I definitely don't want to push levels because I want to be able to find Garen 3. So I am just going to people sit here uh, and I'm going to put my board in here. Uh, I, I'm i not really sure what you're supposed to play with this augment. I played Vertical Story Weaver this game and it worked pretty well. Um, and I looked at the stats and it's the stats said 7 Story Weaver. Uh, Story Champion Garen is very, very good. So I have to go for Vertical Story Weaver. I'm not 100% sure what was right. Also, uh, in terms of like tiny little optimizations, I just realized I sold a, uh, a Koboko there. I should have held that Koboko just to try to deny Ramkev for a little bit longer. Uh, and, you know, I could have just kept it on bench. Upside is we natural one more Garen finally. We started uh, stage two with five Garens and we finally get to the sixth one now. So with this in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm going to roll a bit here. If I find more Garens, I'll roll down deeper. So my thought process is like, I'm going to roll down to probably like 30 gold. If I find another Garen, 
uh, that's fine. If I find like two Garens, I'm down to roll to like 20 or even like 10 gold with two Garens. It's basically the more Garens I find, the more I'm going to be willing to, to roll it down here. So just start the roll down here, get a little bit of extra gold. We start rolling here. Um, not too much to write home about immediately. We do find another Sivir and then another Sivir there. We pick up Zoe. There's a Garen. With this many Garens, I'm like, okay, I'll roll it down to 20. Uh, and then I continue rolling. Roll once at 20 gold here and hit the Garen, which is huge. Also, as far as items get dropped, we get dropped a full Stair Axe, which is fantastic. It's a great item on Garen because it scales with his max HP. Uh, it's also like an AD item, um, so it's fantastic here. So we end up in an interesting spot where we have this Garen uh, and we also have eight Sivers in this position. Um, really important to look at stats. I would think Jeweled Lotus would be pretty decent in this setup, but the stats say it is awful, so I do not take that. We're gonna go for stationary support here. I think it's gonna be really, really nice to uh, just get some kind of support item onto Garen. We get Spite plus uh, Virtue of the Martyr here. And I also just, I wanna keep my board strong. I wanna play for win streak here, so I level and play five Strawweaver Weaver here. I probably should have last round uh, sold that, uh, that Ribbon to make Econ, but not the end of the world. I don't need a Ribbon 3 this game. Um, Virtue of the Martyr plus Spite. Spite statistically is one of the worst uh, support items in the game. Uh, I think it's actually not terrible here because we are playing around a melee carry and some extra AD uh, onto Garen won't be terrible. AP also scales up his shield, I believe. So uh, it's uh, it's not the end of the world. The big thing here is the Virtue of the Martyr. Healing for percent max HP actually is really, really nice. So uh, it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this dummy. I'm not... Uh, super, super happy because I do have to do this weird thing where I like solo frontline it. I, I try to strike this balance this entire game between letting the dummy die, but then you also want Garen to be taking damage when he's got that extra tankiness from Warden. Um, it's it's kind of a weird little like back and forth about, you know, what we want to, to do with our, our frontline here. And I opt to just solo frontline this now. Eventually later in the game, I start moving Garen up. Um, like I said, Titans Resolve, one of Garen's best items. So I want to go for a chain vest here. Ideally, it gets taken though. So I opt to take Glove. The backup plan in this situation is going to be Glove for Hand of Justice. Uh, a healing item to Garen on Garen is definitely solid because he's going to do a ton of damage once he, you know, starts stacking up his HP. Um, so Hand of Justice, fine. Uh, definitely would have preferred the Titan's Resolve, but, you know, not the end of the world. And especially when you're playing around a hero augment like this, you can't, like, greed your items forever. If you just try to read for perfect, perfect items, you're going to take a ton of damage. Uh, and you need to be strong with a one-cost reroll comp like this uh, in the early game. But as you can see, Garen 3 here is an absolute monster. Just look how much damage he does. Look how unkilled he is. We're 92 HP win streaking here. We get some free rerolls here. And I think, you know what? I'm just going to save these rerolls until later. And I finally actually natural my Sivir 3 here. Um, so it's a Garen 3 Sivir 3 duo carry game. Uh, I was not 100% sure how good the Sivir 3 would be. Um, I, I could imagine people saying, oh, like, Sivir 3 sucks, you know, she doesn't do enough damage or something like that. I I don't think I've played a Sivir 3 at this set, but I said, you know what, I, I naturaled 8 Sivirs, well, I found them on the rolldown, I might as well build Sivir 3, right, and I naturaled the last one, so I might as well go for it, and you guys are gonna see, Sivir actually does a lot of work this game. I was pleasantly surprised by the work that Sivir did in this game, so, uh, so yeah, hats off to, uh, to Sivir for actually not being a fraud, even though I kind of thought she would be. Uh, pick up the Alawi here, which was, who's a nice in. Um, fits, uh, fits really well there. It activates Arcanist Warden, and if we get the Morgana in, uh, then we can activate, um, uh, Ghostly as well. And the other thing of note here, which I, I always do this, I kind of, like, jump scare myself with Exalted. Um, Tom Kench is Exalted and Morgana is Exalted, so it's actually possible to fit a, uh, a pretty nice Exalted onto this board. I should have thought more about it, um, but I, you know, am silly, so I end up not really thinking about it as much as I should have. Uh, item-wise here... Their only slamble item in this spot is IE onto Sivir. It leaves the chain vest open for a potential Titan's Resolve. So I say, okay, I'm going to use that glove. I thought it might be Hodge. It's just going to end up being IE on Sivir. That's pretty decent. Um, you know, she's going to do some damage. You see damage chart over there, 2.5k. She's auto, 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 3.5k in a pretty quick fight. She was the most damage dealt. So nice job by Sivir there. But yeah, I mean, at this point, I just want to push levels. I get really, for some reason, part of me was like scared that I was going to accidentally pick Recombob there because that would just ruin my entire game. I thought Ascension would be good, but I checked the stats, and the stats do not say that Ascension is very good. Uh, in hindsight, I think it makes sense. Augments like Ascension aren't very good in comps like this, where you're already playing for scaling. Um, because if you get to a late fight with this Garen, you've already won. If Garen is living 25 seconds into a fight, you don't need the damage from Ascension to juice him up. 
Um, you'd rather something like Unified here, which is going to give him Armin Amar that's going to scale off of all the HP he's got and turn him into a monster. So it makes a lot of sense why you wouldn't actually really uh, care that much about uh, the uh, the Ascension there. And uh, so yeah, I opt to not take it. But look at the damage that Sivir does in this fight, by the way. 12k damage. She's just sitting there, boom, 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 hitting that Tobacco. And we actually managed to win that fight. I thought for sure we were going to lose that fight. We end up winning it, which I was like, I was so pleased with. I was like, oh my god, this Sivir is actually a monster. And now... 92 HP continuing to streak here. The only scary thing is the 6 Umbral player. Uh, we end up also fighting this board, which is a little scary as well because they have a Lissandra. Lissandra is so, so annoying for somebody like my Garen because she just gets to put him into a pot again and again. And what can the Garen do about it, man? There's there's nothing I can do. So we end up finally losing to this guy, who I think might be 7 faded, but boom. Uh, yeah, their, their spot is really, really crazy. So sadly, I lose my streak there. Uh, very disappointing. Uh, I want, once again, the bow here, but uh, I don't believe that I get it. I'm just, I'm like, please, man, give me a bow. I opt to take a uh, sword here in this situation because it can be, um, it can be another sword item for Garen, like a, like a BT. It could be a, a Sivir item as well. So I just say, you know what, it's probably fine to take the sword there. Uh, I don't want to, um, I don't want to build like a Bramble Vest onto Garen in this lobby. There's just not enough. Like, you look around the lobby, there's, like, two players who are AD. I think using an item slot on a Bramble would be really bad. And also, if you just look at the stats, uh, Bramble just doesn't fare very well on Garen for whatever reason. When you're playing around Story Champion, I think it's just because Bramble is just not that strong of an item in general. Declaw is just the better item. Um, the uh, the Udyr carries my Garen to the backline a little bit, and he just starts killing units, which is so, so funny. The entire lobby, actually, is just watching me beat this guy. I didn't even realize that, but that's so funny. Um, I don't really need the rerolls here, so I just take the XP and say, okay, this is going to allow me to go fast 9 in this position. Uh, I want to go fast 9 here, hit everything, ideally hit the 7 Star Weaver set up with Irelia here. So yeah, I, I just opt to take the, uh, the free XP, and I'm happy with that. The rerolls don't really do much for us, even if we rolled down here and found, like, I mean, the ideal would be, like, a Morgana over the Diana, um, but even that is not a, a big upgrade here. Uh, I get afraid because this guy is a super, super juiced up uh, Syndra uh, with Ascension. Like, this is a this is a horrifying matchup, honestly, and we end up losing this fight, which is pretty sad. I make myself feel a little bit better with the fact that, hey, like, we're going fast 9, it's okay. Uh, I pick up the Morgana here, and it's probably around here that I go, wait a minute. Exalted? 2 out of 3? Garen and Morgana are Exalted, I'm pretty sure? Uh, oh no, Sivir and Morgana. And so I'm like, okay, I could actually fit in a Thomas Kench on this board. Um, he's just a bruiser. Um... But, you know, uh, that's that's completely fine. We also get a ton of gold from gold subscription here. So I say, you know what? I'm just going to level, use my free rerolls on 9 because they could potentially spike my board really hard. Um, and uh, and I end up getting this insane Kaisa shop with four, three, three Kaisas in it, uh, which is uh, really, really nice. We have to make a Garen item here. I reforge. I'm really looking for that Titans, but I end up just going for this setup Hodge plus uh, Deathblade. Looks pretty good. We have enough attack speed on Sivir, so the Deathblade feels really good in the Hodge. Uh, you know, you can see this Garen does a lot of damage, and so healing up for that damage is also really, really nice. Uh, I really want to find a way to fit in, like, Lux plus this, um, this Lissandra here, but I just couldn't figure out a way to do it. I would have to cut something. Like, I, I look at, like, this for a second, I'm like, okay, I could fit, like, Lissandra plus something else, but I say, nah, I mean, Vertical Story was too important to this board, especially with all of these three stars. The, the Kale is pretty strong, doing it a huge percentage of our damage um so i opt to just play the five star reaver board with this random lux on our board and at some point i end up actually selling the lissandras i think maybe next round i stop to sell the lissandras because i'm like lissandra 2 is great but i don't see how she's gonna fit on this board she's gonna have no items they've nerfed lissandra this patch so she's just a little bit weaker um so yeah i just I, I'm like, I, I could cut the Morgana, but then I'm like, wait, I can't cut the Morgana. I would lose Exalted. So I'm pretty sure this just has to be my board and I have to live with it. Um, and I mean, I, I say live with it, but this is a pretty decent uh, setup. The only downside is that my frontline is, uh, outside of the Garen, my frontline is a joke. I have three frontliners and six backliners here. Uh, thank thank Mort Dog for the dummy here, because the dummy gives us some of that sort of artificial frontline that we need. And the Garen is also a ton of frontline, but I'd really like to pick up the Tom Kench so that frontline backline is a little bit more balanced out here uh itemization wise we just uh are looking for a kaisa item here there's a red buff available which is really nice because we still don't have heal cut on this board we have the shred from kale but we don't actually have any heal cut uh so heal cut um and i have to throw this onto kaisa just because she's two starred she's gonna spread it decently you can throw it onto morgana she spreads it a little bit better um but she's not a two star so she's not gonna use the stats as well so i have to just throw it onto kaisa i think uh reasonable there try to fake out some swaps because the scary thing is is this garen 
The Scarin can get Udyr. The Scarin, the big thing that can happen to the Scarin is he can get setted. He can just get punted into our backline, as we've seen, you know, a few times in the setup already. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty uh, pretty scary here. We end up killing Prestivant here. By the way, was Pre I, I thought somebody said that Prestivant was 9 Umbral. Was he? He wasn't 9 Umbral when I killed him here, right? Or, uh, okay, yeah, no, no. He, he only has one spat. Maybe somebody else had 9 Umbral? Or maybe I'm thinking of a completely different game where someone had 9 Umbral. Into I've, I've played a lot of TFT over the last few days, so I'm sorry. But yeah, Prestivant, not 9 Umbral here. Uh, I mean... I, I assume Nine Umbral would have killed my Garen, but honestly, I mean, he stayed pretty tanky for most of the fight. Uh, he would he would have died at some point there. Uh, the Puddles encounter here, I opt to go for. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have even gone for this these Puddles because I don't have an open component, I think. And there's a decent chance with just three people that we're just going to get one random component. Um, so I think this was actually... Actually, no, wait, I do have open component. So this is good. I'm a genius. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a genius. This was correct because I have an open component. But you, you have to consider... Uh, if you have an open component when you do this, because uh, in a spot like this, it's very likely that you're just going to get one component here, which is not the biggest of deals. Uh, but yeah, we go to the final three. It is myself, Ramkev, and Phoenix. Uh, Ramkev is the lucky pause player, which is pretty scary. I really want to get this uh, this heal cut onto the lucky pause here, and I just want Garen to survive. You can see how much damage this Kobuko is doing. It's just so difficult, especially now that he has the uh the Irelia too it's a it's a horrifying setup the upside is that I'm able to go level nine soon and start hitting stuff also Ramkev's like holding the units that I need like he has Irelia too uh I was thinking about potentially pivoting into Zyra Khan instead of this um instead of this uh this Kaisa but you know I need a, a decent amount of gold to actually get there we're gonna get our gold from gold subscription here um I, I do I have to sit one round here I think I might because it's a little bit awkward um with exalted like exalted's gonna put us to 20 and then we're gonna go up to 22 so it's like not that much of a deal but yeah i, I think i don't actually have enough gold to, to really level here and do anything so i have to just keep my position like this throw the ie onto kaisa as another damage dealer we just kind of i'm gonna trust that garen is gonna be enough frontline and then i'm just gonna have uh my backline do damage we take another loss here to phoenix's board um and the hope is we can go nine here we still have duplicator so we can still use that uh and we just want to go nine and cap out our board i really want to find um a galio here so that i can actually play seven star weaver because i know that's gonna be a big uh buff for me uh continue to roll down here decide to just make the irelia 2 here i'm not gonna you know try to hold this duplicator for like zaya 2 or anything like that i i want upgrades and i want them now i want to you know guarantee that i at least go second this game because if i continue to lose fights you know i might actually go third which would be really really scary uh and speaking of losing fights we end up losing this fight as well it's our third loss at least we made it to uh to level 10 i don't know if i said level 9 but this is level 10 that we're sitting at by the way i want to just roll down pick up one galio i'm like just please more give me one galio I, I keep getting these shops with these zayas in them like maybe i should have trusted that i was gonna hit zaya too and just sold the kaisa but I, I did not trust uh zaya is such a broken unit that probably i should have um but uh, you know I, I just wanted to go with the guaranteed fact that i have this uh this kaisa here the upside is we end up fighting clone here and uh and kale does a lot of work uh Sivir does a lot of work as well and ramp actually kills off phoenix here which is really really nice um I have to just go for redemption here. Uh, Ramkev ends up getting a giant slayer, which is really, really scary. Uh, but yeah, I feel like redemption should be so good on this board because I can actually use the redemption on Garen. I think for a second about Home of Mending, thinking, oh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Kale could like save my, like Garen could die and then come back with Home of Mending. But I opt to just not go for it. The, the blue Kale is just so good. It does so much damage. And so this is going to be my final board. Level 10, Exalted. Hopefully Kale has enough damage. Garen doing his best to just kill everyone. He's, he ends up living a really, really long time here. Kale does some damage. This fight's so, so close. I get a Kale cast off there that somehow reaches backline and ends up actually killing uh, Ramkev's last unit, the Irelia. And so we got... One or two more fights. If I win this fight, the game will be over. If I lose this fight, then we have to play one more. I just want to make sure Kale hits as much stuff as possible. And I want to make sure that my Garen does not get set ulted. So I swap my entire board. I don't actually swap the redemption over, which is really, really scary. Um, but I just need to make sure that I don't get set ulted because that set is horrifying. Also, look at the damage this Kale does, man. Boom, boom. Just one tap and everything. And easy as that, it is a first place for me, Mr. Sub-Zero Arc against everybody I'll, I'll go back to you guys can just see the final board one more time this was such a dope like this game was so fun to play i feel like i cooked uh a little bit with like the exalted in and uh and just you know the garen items and everything um but it, you know it worked out and i was really pleased that this game was a first and a pretty stacked lobby so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment, subscribe check out my twitch and all my other links down below thanks for watching